You're very welcome back. Now, it is the season to throw on the sparkles and party with your work colleagues. Yes, the festive season has begun and stylist Laura Jordan joins us with some of her favourite styles. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Hi, Laura. So it's all about sparkles and sequins and metallics again this year. Exactly. It comes around time and time again every single season. So what we've tried to do this morning is factor in a little bit of sparkle and with also really wearable pieces. Because I think sometimes women might say, gosh, I couldn't wear that. That's a bit too bright or it's too sparkly or it's too short. So mm. we're trying to cater for every woman this morning in terms of the styles we have. Sounds okay. good. Let's have a look. So Shauna's up first. So Shauna is wearing a beautiful little black dress from Silk Peaches in Ballancolleg and Cork. What I like about this is it's covered in the arms technically with that sort of wall overlay, mm -hmm. but yet there's still a little bit of you know sexiness with the off the shoulder cut and the sweetheart neckline, which also adds to it. Our earrings, which we start with, are a bit of sparkle. Um, this is from Rox Jewelers in Grafton Street and in uh, Sklorgan. And then we have a beautiful solid silver ball necklace as well, which that length is important when you have that neckline because if you have something higher up, it can mm. get you know tangled in, or it can even catch the dress if you have a very highly embellished piece. So we just wanted to keep it simple. A little, little bit of feather detail on the arms just for a bit of fun. And then again, going into the sparkle at the wrist with the cubic zirconia and silver bangle from Rocks, and also the bag from Parfois. This is a great price point as well. It's just, in, you know, not too it's expensive. It's been fun, isn't it? The yes. Are the feathers in the season? I don't yes, remember them being I mean, they, before. They kind of come back, I feel, every party season. They're very much Christmas focused. But again, for that price point, it's it's good for, for what you're getting in the dress and then the shoes to complement as well. The scalloped toe in a shoe is really flattering in terms of giving you a bit of more length through the leg, the way it cuts around the foot and again from a Fabucci footwear nice, very comfortable uh, suede piece with le full leather so you're going to be nothing cutting your feet there. It's nice to have a pair of black heels with a difference. Exactly, because yes. a lot of times you just have the simple court cut mm -hmm. so to have a little bit of a trim that's slightly different is helpful. I think that scalloping makes them more comfortable actually. It's yeah. almost like yeah. there's more support in them, yeah. isn't and there? They're not the higher are back. higher at the back. Exactly, yeah. they're not cutting you right at the side. So this is more of a casual look for whether it be Christmas entertaining or something that you can move from, you know, an evening in the pub to something at the weekend. And with men's wear, they get so much more wear out of pieces that they may buy for the festive season compared to women's wear. So this guy here again, lots of layers. This full look is from McElhenney's in that boy. Irish retail is actually celebrating 55 years this week. And it has a lovely mix of the coat and underneath it, we'll see now we have the sports jacket as well, just for that extra layer. Very versatile piece. You could wear that with jeans, you could wear it with trousers. You know, there's a good bit of re wear in that. But there isn't a trend that comes back here and you're really for men. Not I mean, really, it's not classic. feathers or sequins no, or anything like no. that. So they don't have that to worry about. It's so just your standard sort of smart exactly. autumnal winter look. Exactly. And we find that that is, yes, it's more expensive because the price point's higher. However, you're going to wear it for longer. And we've paired it even here with the watch again, with the rose gold and leather option from Tiso. And that's available at Rocks again in Grafton Street in Stilorgan. And just to really, a full piece pulled together with lots of layers and so much wearability all the way through the winter. Even the trousers, these are by Brule. So they are a little bit more fancy than a typical jean, but they're sort of a, a trouser made of denim, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. So they have a slightly... Which uh, is a good go-between, actually, isn't it? It is. Where it's not quite that, formal, but... Yeah, and you're able to wear it more often as well, I think, when you have something that, that marries both together. And our shoes, these have a Gore-Tex finish, so they're actually waterproof, really comfortable, laced up, but still smart enough to work from day to evening. Lovely. And Great. finally, Pat. So Pat is wearing quite the little black dress showstopper with the satin piece here. Now what we've done with this is we've overlaid the dress with the faux fur gilet over it just to give a little bit of coverage and a bit of warmth. And the great thing about this piece is with the, this high quality faux fur, you're getting the kind of the warmth and the effect without obviously any cruelty involved. And again, you've got the little bit of sparkle to bring it together. We've got the, the double tennis necklace, which is a cubic zirconian silver from Rocks. And again, I love the detail at the side of this dress from Marion Gale and Donnybrook, synonymous with women's occasion wear. And what you've done is she's just brought that small bit of sparkle, bring the eye right up and cut nice and uh, and just gently on the waist so it's nothing too tight again at the midsection. And then that pencil shape just flows right down below the knee, not too short either, which again is a consideration. You don't want to have something that you're uncomfortable in when you're sitting down, etc. It's very dressy, but I suppose a lot of companies perhaps do exactly. go all out and have yeah. formal affairs. There's a lot even with a you know, black tie or something similar. And the great thing with this piece is you could put you know a pair of black tights with it or you could put a coat over it mm. and make it wearable for something and little, you know, dress it down a little bit. Also, you could dress it up for a New Year's wedding or a black tie event as well and then our bag from Parfois just giving that little bit of extra sparkle. There is also. always that flexibility these days at a black tie event. There used to be, it has to be full length and not so anymore at all exactly. Laura, is it? No, it definitely cocktail length is below the knee and anywhere from the knee to the ground is sort of the in between.
between a, applicable level um, for where you might be putting your, your dress, etc. And again, with a bit of sparkle on the shoe, it really helps. So that just gives you that little bit of extra, you know, uh, edge to your dress. And you could wear those with a pair of black trousers either. So, yeah. gives you so the accessories play a big part in it, don't they? Totally. And I think changing up the accessories allows the dress look different from one wear to the next. And you want to make sure you can get rewears out of options. Gone are the days of buying something once. You want to ensure if you're investing in a piece that you can see how it's going to work for you again and again. Not a novelty Christmas jumper in sight. Not one. No. <laughs> There's still time. There is indeed. We've lots of time. I love left. an old tacky Christmas <laughs> oh, jumper. <we> know. <laughs>